Today on the channel, we glow in the dark once again, this time with the Amazon exclusive DC McFarlane Toys, Green Lantern, John Stewart. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another DC McFarlane Toys unboxing and review and today on the channel we get the most out of our molds once again with the Amazon exclusive John Stewart glow in the dark edition but for all your John Stewart glow in the dark editions hit up Amazon but for everything else hit up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and of course John Stewart one of the most famous Green Lanterns at this point and I always say whenever we talk Green Lantern it always goes back to Hal Jordan for me not John Stewart not Guy Gardner not even the Alan Scott era. It is Hal Jordan for me. However, John Stewart been a Green Lantern for a long time at this point. So we all know John Stewart at this point. He's not just on the Daily Show anymore. He's representing the Lantern Corps as we do know. And this time in a glow in the dark edition, gonna be perfect for that glow in the dark closet. All oh, can't wait to get that thing unveiled. Uh, maybe one day on the channel. We'll see what happens here. But we know what'll happen for sure is we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're gonna take a look at the packaging. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna box it. We're gonna talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And this one is an Amazon exclusive, still available right now. It has been in my cart probably for over a year at this point. I did not want to pay the $39.99 or whatever it was originally, as this is a very simple repaint of really not the best Jon Stewart figure. And as I'm filming this right now, they just announced a Justice League Plastic Man Build-A-Figure Jon Stewart that is better than this one as well. But this one always step in, stuck into my cart because it's a glow-in-the-dark. And you know I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. Uh, that shiny glow just always, uh, just I follow it. I just can't get away from it. So I knew I wanted to get this. Well, a crazy thing happened over the last weekend as this dropped down to $18. Yes, $18. I said, you know what? For glow in the dark for $18, I am a buyer. I am a buyer. And that leads us to this review right here today. So let's look at the packaging on this one. Typical Todd McFarlane exclusive here. Not a big fan of the covered up packaging. It just doesn't feel special enough to me. So it is pretty disappointing uh, as far as packaging goes. But we see a lot of this with the Big Bad Toy Store exclusives, McFarlane's Toy Store exclusives, Amazon, Entertainment Earth. All the exclusives get this kind of packaging, which at least they're uniform. But we want the window. We want to see what's inside here. Nobody wants to just display this box, do they? Sound off in the comments below. Now, Amazon did stick one of these big price stickers on there. Uh, I was going to rip the packaging as I started to take it off. So I said, I'm just going to leave it. That's the way it is. I'm throwing the packaging away anyways. Gold label signifies exclusives. Love the black and green attack. Like a young overkill is what this looks like to me. Shout out to overkill. Old DD, Rat Skates, Bobby and the boys. Oh, what a crew over there. Dare I say a wrecking crew. Yes, yeah, shout out to overkill. Jersey uh, Pioneers and Thrash metal, metal, of course. McFarlane logo, all the fun stuff. It does say limited to 3,000 pieces. 3,000 glow-in-the-dark pieces right here. So not a big exclusive. We see some over 7,000 as we have seen. Green Lantern, John Stewart on the side. DC Lantern, McFarlane logos, all that stuff. Scan me? Absolutely not. Not, not fall for that trick. Todd's got pictures of his toes if you scan it. That's what I have heard. Somebody fact check that if you want. A little artwork there. It does look good. I don't have any problems with that artwork. And of course, 12 and up, 11-year-olds, there is the door. Walk around this path, then up the steps, and then straight out the back door into the field. That's what I'd like to see. Not out my front door. You go out the back door. That's what we're going to see there. See you later. Goodbye. And then typical uh, McFarlane exclusive at this point. You got the little tray holding everything down. You got the card. You got all kinds of stuff going on. Get the old fancy pink scissors out here as we got to start working our way through the Cambodian cannibal tape and, of course, the twist ties of doom. It's like uh, just a mystery here. It's like a physical challenge back in the day. Can you get through the tape? Can you get through the twist ties? Can we get through all of it? I don't know. There's only one way to do it, and that is to take the McFarlane physical challenge. Yes, Todd, the McFarlane physical challenge. That's what we're calling it. We're going to pull John Stewart out. Oh, he's locked at the feet, but I escaped the feet. I just pulled it on through. Almost eat defeat right there. Let me get that stand looking good. 
And then the card. Oh, the cards are always rough. They always are, are kind of tough to get out. You don't want to bend them, of course. I could grade this a 10 and just uh, win a fortune one day off of that. And you don't want to mess that up. See you later. Goodbye. Nice little box. A good carrier, of course. I'll put all this back in here. Carry it to the light box when I take the glamour shots. That's what I do. So I'm going to stick that off to the side. See you later. And now let's dive into old Green Lantern John Stewart here. Of course, glow in the dark. You can feel the glow in the dark kind of paint on there. The DC against the black stand. I say it all the time, Todd. I'm a broken record, just like you. Not a fan of these stands. Just not a fan. Not. Green Lantern Glow in the Dark Edition, number 1,045 of 3,000. Shout out to me. That's a great number. What can I say? And then, of course, you do get a McFarlane stand. I do like this, Todd. I do appreciate this. I love the Lantern logo. I wish they did this on just the regular editions. They seem to save this for just the exclusives. I get it, but it does feel a little extra special. I am here for that. Now we got Jon Stewart, of course. Oh, I still got some of that tape going on here. Or put that off to the side but i do like these swords of course that power ring making things happen he's got these glow in the dark green swords here almost look like big cleavers look like he's gonna chop some meat up or something but definitely big big time weapons big time swords here for john stewart and now we get down to business with old john stewart himself and john looking interesting of course the green and black attack carries on over here like a young overkill once again you got the green hands you got the green forearm guards the green top of the suit you got the green boots the rest in black of course and then you do got that beautiful lantern logo right there in the chest that signifies a green lantern of course as we do know got a whole hole in his back just if you need it you can pretend he got shot or stabbed back there if you want to if you're a player out there if you're a player maybe you 12 and up players out there 11 year olds we know no 11 year olds are watching this right now we know that is a fact right here uh john stewart of course looking only like a john stewart i don't know would i know this is john stewart if somebody just handed me this head i'm not sure i might think is this pre-cyborg before he was cyborg maybe uh, there's a couple of different characters you could think he is but it looks like he does kind of have blue eyes which is definitely uh dramatic there it's like staring into your soul a little bit i would say but besides that he's got two ears two eyes a nose and a mouth he's playing them human hits right here at the table for us but it does look okay as a head sculpt. I just don't know if I would say, oh, there's Jon Stewart. And maybe that's because I'm not just a big, big fan. I'm a, of course, Hal Jordan fan once again, as you guys do know. Now, articulation, his arm's going to go around for us. You do get a little of that butterfly there. Bicep cut, double jointed elbows, hands back and forth. Of course, you do got two gripping hands on him, even a trigger hand over here. But he's got his swords o doom, as we know. Hula hoop at the top, a little bit of that diaper rubber material in the midsection. A little bit of low cut on him. Big old splits if you need him for John. Leg does go up. Double jointed knees. Look at that. He's doing some crazy moves here. He's going to do a crane kick is what he's going to do. Of course, ankles up and down, back and forth. And he's got the toe articulation, Todd. Oh, Todd says praise the toe articulation. He's rocking the toe articulation here today. But we're not going to be done with John Stewart. As I did say earlier, we got a Justice League uh, Build-A-Figure one coming very, very soon. So we'll have to watch out for that one in the near future. Going to stick him on the stand. Of course he fits on the stand, but really paint by glow in the dark numbers is what we got here. A simple, easy re-release, simple, easy, get the most out of your molds. You take it, you leave it, you pass it on if it's not for you. But if you're a sucker for glow in the dark like myself, you might jump in on something like that. And then of course got the regular edition right here. I don't know. Pick your poison. Does anybody really care that much? I guess sound off in the comments once again. But if I had to pick one, I'm going glow in the dark all day long. Of course I am. You guys know that. But it is good. It is what it is, though, at the end of the day. Amazon exclusive. Could still be on sale if you're after this one. Head over to Amazon, of course, as I said earlier. So there it is. Old John Stewart. What are your guys' thoughts? A pickup, a pass, a long game, a no game? Let me know your thoughts on John Stewart. Glow in the dark edition in the comments down below. And you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. Don't forget about Patreon for early access to both YouTube channel videos. Uh, we got videos every single day and you get them early on Patreon. Patreon also the best way to support this channel and all the content it brings. Tons of bonus stuff over there as well. Thank you guys and gals and gals for all the support. And don't forget ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson if you want to pick up a t-shirt as well. And head over to Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble exclusive Chase Variant exclusive hardcover edition. It is the complete guide to the Jax Classic Superstars by yours truly. Almost 700 pages of wrestling figure goodness. Check it out if you are interested in this kind of thing. If you want an autographed edition, hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for John Stewart, Glow in the Dark Edition, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.